over the over the period of time I've been doing all these videos, everybody says, oh, do you actually build this stuff or do you just spruik it? I actually do build some modeling and I must admit I've only just got it back seriously back into it in the last few months, uh, just for various reasons. So I thought I'd come and show you a couple of things that I've been working on just before I start to close them up before I go on. So these are only like an in progress little look at what I've been doing, okay? So, and oh, we'll start with this one first. This is the Hobby Boss A26B. I know everybody says it's got issues and it's got this, that and the other thing, but as a kit, it has been going together very, very well and I've enjoyed it immensely. So, let me show you what I've got. Firstly, fuselage. As you can see by a lot of the fuselage. Now, these are my techniques. These are Everybody has their own way of doing things and the way they want to do it. I build the interior for, for really just for just show. It's not, I don't go to town on it. I don't get all, all um, intense about it. It, to the point where I don't, if I, if, if I can't see it, I'm not going to paint it or build it or whatever. However, I will put bulkheads in because they support it. A lot of people have, or a few people have asked me about this particular bulkhead on this kit. Uh, do they need to go in? Yes, it does because A, it supports other bits and pieces, but it also stops it from flexing too much. This actually is separate so I can take it out and uh, have a look at it. These are glued in. This is all done. This is the other side. As you can see, the way I do it, I spray the whole lot black first, in, in matte black. Then I'll dry brush various shades of greens either and then lighten them up as I go. Then I might whack a bit of uh, silvering across it, uh, flat, flat to aluminium, and then I'll put a bit of a wash through. But again, I'm only trying to give the impression if you, when you're looking through the glass. I'm not going to town and putting weathering sticks and, and, floor, and stuff on the floor or anything like that. It's not that intense so through the glass you won't see that much anyway the cockpit is there so that's uh, where it's at at the moment there's still a little bit more work to go on it now this is the hobby boss kit with all the issues about it so what I've tried to do I'm sort of taking some of the things away that needs to be done if for this for this version the B model I think what they've done they've either used a a26k and put a lot of the parts in and not realise they were different to the wartime one, or they were using a fire bomber version which had the extra seats and control columns and everything else. Basically what I've done, you can see a little bit of spots there that I'm just filling in now. Basically what I've done is trying to give the impression of a wartime one, so I've taken the seats out, I've taken the bits and pieces out, I'm going to build a little seat that will sit in, into this side of it, uh, down the bottom there, which will be the little fold down seat. There's not a lot I could do with the uh, um, centre section because it's actually on the ICM one. You can actually see where it shapes differently there. Um, the radio gear on the back of the wall is not necessarily correct, but I'm going to leave it on there for the moment because it works for, the way, for what I want to do. Uh, so it's all fairly straightforward. Now, a little thing I learned a little while back, this thing is quite heavy, quite tail heavy. So what I've done, and a guy, I saw an article from a guy ages ago, I've actually got a burr drill and drilled out. So I don't know if you can see that well, but I've drilled or burred off a lot of the plastic. And you'd be surprised how much taking that plastic off lightens the tail end of the kit. So it's just, it doesn't seem a lot, but it just helps to, to lighten it up a little bit uh, on the front undercarriage, things like that. So that's, that's that section of it. That's what I'm working on at the moment. Now the this is the engines and things like that. For those that uh, do know, the kit originally comes with a 14-cylinder engine, which is wrong for an Invader. So this is a 18-cylinder engine, which was done by Uncle Les. He's uh, got them on on his website for sale. This is quite nice, as you can see, it's resin. So and what you what he gives you is the front cylinders complete, and then the rear cylinders as just half a half a set because you can you can't see it from behind the back of it anyway but it also means this part now can be continued to be used so that when you put it onto the engine bay and everything else you, it all lines up the only thing you've got to do is make sure you line up the bits and pieces with the intakes so that it uh, fits properly so that then 
Uh, that goes like that. And there you go. Your engine's basically done, ready to go. Painted it up. Uh, the way I do it is I paint them uh, matte black first, then I'll dry brush aluminium, then I might dry brush some browns and some other bits and pieces onto it. Paint the um, uh, cowling or the part there, and then uh, put another bit of a wash over it and it's done. So again, it's not a lot to see, but in the case of this particular one, it's really obvious that they're 14 cylinder engines, not 18, so you need to change them over. Uh, continuing on, this is the rear, this is the rear part, the gunner station, fairly straightforward, just a bit more wash on it, I'll do a bit more dry brushing, it's going to have some seat belts on it, oh, just going back to this, the kit actually includes seat belts in it, I believe, I remember rightly, anyway, I've got to check that, uh, but I'm going to change them over to, uh, some Edward seat belts just to brighten it up a little bit, um, Okay, this is the under forward, sorry, undercarriage bays and cowling. Um, the fit on this kit, as I said, it's got issues with its um, um, whether it's correct or whatever, but as a kit, it fits beautifully. This is all separate. I haven't even glued it together a bit. So it just, everything's designed to fit in and lock in just so well that um, you know you, you don't need it the, uh, don't need much glue on it at all it's it, and mu or much putty I haven't used uh, uh, any on the on the basic parts yet so all the rest of it is just um, just fitting really well so that's one cow then the other thing I'll show you is the wings these are very straightforward that's a separate part that's a separate part uh, two piece bit here. The, these slot straight into there. Again, the fit is excellent. Um, this is obviously, again, this is why I think they've done a very late war, a very late Invader uh, or a K, because on the top of the surface, it gives you the um, gun pods, but there's no uh, access ports for the gun pods. It looks like a K wing rather than a thing. So that's what I think they were doing. They were gonna do a, they were, they've used a K to do it. Uh, other than that, uh, it's all pretty straightforward. I have grabbed myself Edward's um, mask set for it, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else have I got? Oh, this is the forward undercarriage bay. I'll do a little bit more um, dry brushing on the undercarriage leg to brighten it up a little bit more, but there you go, there's that one. Uh, the guns. Uh, this is what I'm working on at the moment. As you can see by inside there, I've put some fishing uh, weights in there to help with the weights and I've put them right up the front. This is the gun bay. Uh, be really, really careful this. I've actually already snapped off two, which I'm gonna take off and drill out. Uh, but that's the section that goes inside the gun port. What I've done is cut little slots in the top and bottom so that I can feed uh, Deluxe's liquid gravity into it once I've uh, got it done. But I have added some uh, old parts of uh, another thing I had, oh, this is all white metal. So that's sort of added to the weight. The trick is to get them to line up properly and drop fit it in. So there you go, so there's the guns. As uh, knocked off the two bottom ones, but that's, uh, that's uh, the way I've done it there. Um, so that's pretty cool. But, so that's all I could show you from, the, oh, one other thing, sorry. When I, another thing, when I was taking weight, some weight out of it, I've also, once I've assembled the tail planes and that, I've drilled little like lightning holes, lightning holes all through the tail section. It's not, it doesn't appear to be much, but you'd be surprised how much difference it makes. So I've done both them, and I also did, uh, where's the rudder? There's a rudder around here somewhere. And there's the rudder. So I've done the same thing, drilled out some holes. It just takes a little bit more weight out of it so that um, there's less stress on the undercarriages and things like that. Just a quick one. I've decided to close the Bombay doors. Uh, the fit on that, if you cut the little tabs off, that's just fitted straight in. It's very, uh, there's no putty on there or anything. So all I've done is put a strengthening strip through there so that when I join the two together, they'll, um, they'll line up properly. So. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of how big this thing is.
there you go. As I said, the fit on this is just superb. The, um, I can't, as I said, I keep saying it, but it just is. As a kit, it's a great model to build. Uh, it's a good size. It's gonna look lovely when it's finished. Uh, as I said, the only thing I have changed is chase up Uncle Les and get a set of engines for it because it's, it does make a big difference. Um, other than that, that's, whoops, that's the Invader. Um, let's have a look at something else.